Hi everybody, this is Nick from Hogan's Alley, and today we're going to talk about Empire uh, tanks and what happens if you get a leaky fill nipple. So in 2020, the O-rings that Empire used on some of these tanks is a little soft. And what happens is on the first fill, when you go from 0 PSI to 4500 PSI, if you do what's called a slam fill, where you fill it really fast, um, that O-ring can misshapen and then jam up in here, and then it'll start leaking through the hole in the center of the fill nipple. So I'm going to show you how to take the fill nipple off, how to replace the O-ring on the check valve, and put it back together again safely. All right, so now we're going to remove the fill nipple. To do this, we're going to use a 7 16 box wrench. Now you can use any kind of box wrench. It doesn't have to be a fancy one like this that has a built-in ratchet, uh, but please don't use an open-ended wrench. An open-ended wrench, if uh, you slip, can scratch the carbon fiber down on the tank or scratch the regulator, and you don't want to do that. So always use a box wrench. You'll take the fill nipple out, like so. The check valve may stay on the inside, but chances are if the O-ring's jammed, it won't. which you'll probably have is a fill nipple that looks like this when you take it out. All right. If you push with a pick or a paper clip down through the inside, your check valve will come out. Take your pick and clean off any extra Teflon tape that's on the outside. What you don't want is strands of the Teflon tape getting inside the regulator and causing more problems inside your regulator later. This is easier if you have a wire brush, but if you don't have a wire brush, a little bit of effort and the pick will take the extra Teflon tape off the outside edge. Like that. Now here's the part that we're looking to fix. This guy here, this sharp pointy thing with the O-ring on the bottom of it. So chances are your result is already misshapen and the O-ring wants to fall off on its own. This one wasn't actually defective to start off with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it down and we're gonna push the O-ring off like so. Oop, there we go. I'm going to take the O-ring off the shaft and replace it with a newer, harder O-ring. Now is also a good time that you want to clean out the hole inside the regulator. So what you want to do here is take a Q-tip and run it around the inside of the hole, twisting and turning, cleaning out all the threads, and just making sure that you don't have any extra Teflon tape residue in here that can find its way into the regulator propelled by 4500 psi of force damaging the internal components. And now for the reassembly. So we're going to use this new o-ring here which is more opaque than the stock o-ring. It's also going to be harder, a little harder to push down onto the shaft and you're going to seat it all the way at the groove at the base, like that. Plant it inside the fill nipple. Now this is the most important part. You're gonna apply Teflon tape to the fitting. Now it's important that you do two things. One, you need to pull the Teflon tape and stretch it so that it's tight and it doesn't bunch up. The other thing is you have to make sure that you put the Teflon tape on in the right direction so that as the fitting is screwing into the bottle, it tightens the Teflon tape as it goes around and not loosen it. So pull and stretch the Teflon tape as you apply it. Make sure not to have the Teflon tape go over the end of the fill nipple so that shreds of the Teflon tape can make their way inside the regulator. Again, we're always trying to avoid that. Put two good tight wraps of the Teflon tape on and break it off so that you have a nice clean Teflon taped edge, like so. Don't worry if it gets over the box 
end at this point. And then we're going to screw it in to the regulator. Do it slowly and carefully. Always start it by hand. You don't want to cross thread this. If you cross thread it, you're going to end up buying a new regulator. So, nice, as far as you can, go in by hand. Get it in nice, you'll know it's nice and straight and good to go. Then, we'll tighten it the rest of the way. Now, you're not going to want to sock this down super tight. You just want to get it to the point where it's nice and snug so that it won't leak. But again, we're screwing a steel nipple into an aluminum base, so please don't strip it out. If you want to fine tune it from here and take the excess Teflon tape off the edge so that it doesn't fray and look crappy, most of the time that's what we do here. We'll hit this with a wire brush. We'll take off the excess Teflon tape around the outside edge just to give it a clean, professional look. All right, that's it. You're good to go. Uh, please, when you bring it in for your first fill, tell the fill attendant that it's going to be its first fill and to go slowly with it. Your O-ring will thank you.